Bloomberg we're following tonight Baltimore City's mayoral race as we are just under eight weeks away now from Maryland's primary election and Baltimore City has a lot at stake. Incumbent Mayor Brandon Scott is facing a fight from both fellow Democrats and Republicans challenging his leadership. Tonight some of those challengers participated in a town hall hosted by WJZ and the Baltimore Teachers Network. WJZ Live at 11. Kelsey Kushner is at City Hall. And Kelsey tonight several candidates attended but there was one notable exception. Take us through it. Vic, Rick, well, tonight was a very big night for the candidates vying for the mayor's seat. They covered a lot of topics that surrounded education, like staffing shortages and crime in the classroom. But there was one person missing from tonight. That was the mayor himself. I want to welcome you to Baltimore Teachers Network Mayoral Town Hall. Candidates in this year's race for mayor's top seat in office sounded off about an issue at the top of many voters' minds education. During Wednesday night's mayoral town hall hosted by WJZ in collaboration with Baltimore's Teacher Network, candidates were put on the hot seat as they answered questions about teacher shortages, funding, and crime in the classroom. What kinds of things do you do when you're facing a situation in which a lot of parents feel unsafe sending their children to school. The violence that we're seeing in our schools is violence that is seeping into our schools from the streets. I agree that we should not create prisons within our schools, but we have to make sure that our young people who will want to be in school are being safe in school. One person noticeably missing from the panel, the city's current mayor, Brandon Scott. Across town, Scott held a community walk at McElderry Park in light of the recent violence. I think when you have the uptick in violence that this neighborhood and district has seen recently, this becomes a little bit more important. When asked why Scott chose to cancel his attendance at the forum, he told WJZ he already has the teacher's vote and he wanted to prioritize meeting neighbors in East Baltimore. After a quadruple shooting shook the neighborhood just last Month. As the candidate that has the support of the teachers, uh, I think they understand and know uh, the folks that are our teachers and leaders in education that I have to be here uh, because of what's happening. We're talking about life loss, uh, and that's the most important thing that we can do in my job. While homicide numbers are trending down compared to this time last year, crime remains a top concern for neighbors all across the city. Those in the community tell WJZ they want whoever takes office to keep Baltimore safe. I like Brandon. Scott Brandon's got a friend, but I just want to know we he got to do more than what's being done now. Now, some important dates to keep in mind to make sure your voice is heard this election season. Maryland's primary election is May 14th. You have until April 23rd to register to vote in the primaries. And then Election Day, that's November 5th. The deadline to register to vote in the general election is October 15th. And if you did miss tonight's mayoral town hall, you can always watch it again on WJZ.com. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. Kelsey, great coverage. Thank you very much. Well, as